What's up guys, it's your boy Atomic here, and today we are going to be starting the Outlast Whistleblower DLC. Now, I bought this the other night along with Outlast 2, so that will be coming out. Um, but it was on sale for Black Friday, obviously, so I just thought, hey, I could uh, add that to the Outlast series since uh, I just finished it up. Check it out if you haven't already. I'll put a tag right here. So let's uh, let's start it. Does Insane still have zero checkpoints? Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna do Nightmare again. <laughs> now this is probably taking place before. And who does that make us? Who are we taking the? Who are we taking on the whole lot? Open those eyes. We don't have to wake up. But open your eyes. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help. Sweetener. Mm. That's a ten. Andrew, you getting these alerts? Kind of busy here. That's... It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral assumption. Could be Hope. You're not happy about it? No. Shit. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Come on. I'm talking about Billy Hope. As in, he's not the wall writer yet. Two hours earlier. Okay. So I'm taking it. I mean, I take it that this takes place in the span of two hours. Oh, this is the email. Um. That we had in the first episode we read. So we're this guy. Fairly anxious about something. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. What are you doing in here? Of course. Aren't you? Why weren't you answering the page? I'll tell them you're incoming. Christ, Wayland, hurry up. They're waiting on you. Ah. They're cutting it close. Next patient's incoming in arterial spin. Still dark. We need you at the front. They've got Galuskin out of his park. Finally. Where have you been? Functional imaging interfaces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. Call into the chamber. Ask them to delay. No. I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Have you, Mr. Park? Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murdoch Corporation. <laughs> Fuck me, they're bringing him in. No! No, not again! No, no! Who's that? Yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Quickly, Mr. Park. Head will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. In five seconds. Four. Three. 
Arterial spin labeling is back online. Good thing. Positioning imaging plane. You're finished, Mr. Whalen Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your reports. You need to exit the room, sir. Okay, I gotta go back to get my laptop. the only room I can open, which would be this one. Yes, this one. The only one with the open door already. Somebody's huh? been telling stories outside of class. On oh. the floor! Down! Hands where I can see him! <laughs> Mr. Whalen Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact. That was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Whalen Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine Program? Well, that's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That was brave indeed, Whalen. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Light anesthetic. <laughs> Okay. So it does take place before. And we're the person who sent the email to Miles Upshur. But that. You hear that, don't you? That it's the same model. And I record notes too. I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed, or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made me watch the the engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't exposes the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Okay, um... Yeah, it would appear so. Alright, where do we go? Wallflower. Pretty flower! Fucking... I'll open you up. Open you up and show you! Her. Okay, here we go. He was shredded. As was he.
I have a feeling we're gonna see some of the people we already uh, know of. Like maybe the twins, Chris Walker, Father Martin, maybe. Come to join our therapy session. Here, take the blade. Get around with our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You'll keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. You know, you're one of those. Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? Something special? There are no observers here. Now, get the fuck out of here before I change my mind. Did you say so, man? I would love to. Oh, what the fuck are you trying to go? Come back here! Did he actually hit me or like? Oh yeah, oh, okay. I can't. I can't move. I was I'm stuck. Okay, I wasn't sure if he was actually gonna like hit me or something. Oh, uh, vent, vent, yeah. Is that gonna break? We get out of here through reception. If they get here in time, we need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here within... We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal. And the lights are Shortwave radio in the prison. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside help is a good out. There's a radio in the prison. Shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtly... Ah, wait. Yeah. Oh, my mistake was subtlety, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous, I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa. For the boys. Oh, he's got a wife and kids and he's, he's dead. Like, I already know it. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted it to anyone and everyone. I can't die, not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. Uh, I feel bad. He's got a you know, wife and kids, and he's just... I, I already know he's going to die. He has to. See, he's already he's having the ball rider visions. There's no way he's gonna survive this. Hello, sir. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my... You're not security. I was... I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body I found. You gotta get me out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. Stop that. No! No! Someone's gonna try and come in there to hide, don't I? I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today murdered and worse. 
I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces, claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags they'd dressed me in and changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading, and what am I? I watched this man die and thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. That's all, folks.